Whoa, it's a cracked screen. Yeah, that's kind of inevitable uh, for games back in this era. Because, you know, the Amiga was a computer, and most of the games had these little, like, spin wheel code or whatever. Like, you had to throw some loops, th go through some loops to just play the game you bought, which... Man, I, I, back when we had that old, like, Windows 3.1 computer, like, I think we had a program or something that just let us crack our own games because, like, who wants to just be, be like, playing, like, you know, doing doing this all the time? I think I need to, like, repress the thing, maybe? Oh, the pretty lights, though! Look at that! Beautiful. Yeah, that's the cracking. Like, I went through this before, but I forgot what I did. Oh. There we go. I have no idea what I did, though, for that to have worked. Um... <laughs> FSUAE is still a mystery to me, but here we go! Well, the all this doesn't matter. So, yeah, so tear away Thomas, we are sticking to... Um... To 1992. Uh, this game very explicitly. I gotta put my code son. I was wrong about right Sonic, but it's only three three things that yeah. I remember seeing the screen. So, there's Terroy there, Thomas. <laughs> we're just we're just going. Whoa. Okay, maybe not. All right. Look at that though. So I remember. So so. A little bit of info on how the sausage gets made. Whenever I play a game for the first time, you know, like, for recording, first I turn on the game, then I try to record, and then, you know, I'm good. The first time I turned this on and had this work, I when I saw that screen where we can see Tearaway Toms, I let out this explicitive. I don't even know why. It's just completely shocking. We got gems, we got hearts, we got time. World one in Woodland. Um, here's Thomas. Fast things first. One one. You need gems. You need 15 out of the 35. Press fire. Look at that though. Loading here is a fraction of what it was on Zool. Maybe it's just bitter or am I? Oh, the bird hurt me? I don't know. I've heard a song before, haven't I? I don't know. Exit open! Alright. Look at that song! I, you can just hold a button and you do that! Okay? Alright! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> you don't have a lot of time, though. 50 time units. I didn't really look at what the time, like, what it looked like. It's like falling off a log! You need 30, though. 40? You need a billion. All right, well, here we go. So you can't... Whoa! All right, I just kind of fell off the thing. But you can go through this thing. Things just go kind of... Everything just kind of goes too fast. Uh, there's a bear! Well, well, then I go, no, that's not a bear. I guess your only uh, penalty for hitting an enemy is that you sit down on your butt. Yeah, and you're like, oh, I have such a headache. But, like, you cannot attack your enemies at all, even though you're rolling yourself in a ball? Which, to me, I feel like rolling yourself in a ball is a pretty aggress aggress aggressive attitude. But this guy is not a hedgehog, he's like a bulldog, I guess? He's green, he might be sick. Number three, the larch! Feels like a reference I'm not understanding. It's pretty good. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go here and get bop. So just go look at that bird. See, yeah, it's all the animals everywhere. You press a button to jump, unlike pressing up to jump. Apparently, PC games at a time, up to jump was just an accepted reality, and oh, you poor souls. Like, you guys just were not aware of how good you could have had it. Like, that's just wild to me. I mean, you press up to jump in, like, fighting games, so it's not like that weird. Oh, we're crunching our hard zone here. All right, uh, but it's only for stage four. The worm that turn. It's a rhyme. It's a rhyming scheme based on Santa Claus. All right, we're gonna go up this rope. I just bounce on that guy's head though. It's pretty good. Destroy the world. I guess maybe you can climb up a rope. I don't know. So you, I bobbed the bird, but like he didn't really get hurt. I don't know. I guess I'm not. Going, I don't know what I'm doing. That's true. That is accurate. The exit's over there, by the way. Okay, so, 
As long as you bop on top. Oh, you can hold on to that robe, though. That was fun. Yeah, this little, like, dangling animation. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, but then that, that happens, like, anti- uh. Alright. But there I jumped on his head. Hurry up. Well, you hurry up. How about that? Okay, so I don't have enough gems. This big, ugly X on the door. So, what's gonna happen? Exit open. Time up. Oh, so I lost a heart, but everything is exactly as it was. Okay. That's interesting. Famous five. So, you're allowed to... So, losing health is the only punishment you get from hurting enemies. And from death, you don't really lose anything? Except for the amount of times that you can run out of time. I don't know. I think there's something interesting about that setup. There we go. I bought that bear on the noggin. And then I gotta go... Okay, so that's what it this way was pointing at. It was trying to tell me, hey, you can interact with ropes. Rope interactions. See, there's goes up, though. Like, you can't go up. I can't fly. Or can I? No. Like, is this way the bird? Uh, oh, why can I? No, see, the exit is over there. It's in that tree over there. Ugh, why is this jump so hard? Uh, I'm gonna die soon. I'm gonna be a dead tearaway. There's a zero count and a zero count. That's nice. Dude, just... Ugh, there we go. Like, that wasn't difficult. I just had to jump more from... Yeah, this control's fine. Uh, Alright, I don't... I don't understand what's up with all the face of all the trees, though. That's weird. Okay, but if you get hit while on a row, you just get knocked right out. I need this gem. Why do I need all these gems to complete the levels? I don't know, man. You don't ask Thomas these kinds of things. You just accept it. And you press down to get down. Simple enough. You might be missing things at the bottom of this chasm. That bear just said hello. What a rude guy. <laughs> Those arrows are very imposing. They are just kind of taking up all the air here. So just kind of move to the side. I know there's a bird and I don't want to get knocked out, you know? Because, you know, I, I'm going to fall somewhere and I'm going like, well, I fell and no one wants to fall like I just did. But here you get gems and it's like, yeah, I know, hurry up. Um, I'm probably just going to game over here, it looks like. Hurry up. Like, up to where? And then you just get game over. I feel like the time limit might be a bit cramped because you just have to go. You, you do, like, you do not have any let. And this is, like, still within World 1. They just kind of expected you to get real good at this. Well, they expected you to play a whole lot. But I mean, I don't know, with some tweaking, there's something to this. But alas, um, the future was not kind for the Tearaway Thomas. Thomas, Tearaway Thomas franchise, as in, never really was a franchise, I'm sorry to say. Anyways, yeah, wait, it's just kind of loading in right here. I didn't press any button, but I'm hearing the hardware crunching, and then you Stage 7. Oh, we get a demo of Stage 7! <gasps> the stage with bees! Uh, well, look at that. We get to see... So this is the intended gameplay. How it's supposed to look like. Then you get the honey, and you're like, Mmm, delicious! Now these bees are gonna be even more angry. So yeah, this is a computer playing. You get to see... Yeah, just a sneak preview of what 7 looks like. I mean, why would I even bother to play anymore? I saw the highlights here. 